Hi, my name is Gary Lewis with Long Acre Racing Products, and this is Chris Cunningham, and this is another edition of Long Acre Garage. <laughs> Today we're going to be talking about the uh, part number 78290 digital caster camera gauge. Caster is the angle between an imaginary pivot line that runs through the center of the upper ball joint to the center of the lower ball joint and vertical. The side view of the imaginary line will tilt forward or backward. The tilting of the imaginary line is the definition of caster. A car has positive caster when the imaginary line tilts towards the back of the car and negative caster when the imaginary line tilts towards the front of the car. Camber is the tilt of the tire as viewed from the front of the car. If the top of the tires lean toward the center of the car, then you have negative camber. If the top of the tire tilts away from the center of the car, then you have positive camber. An easy way to understand camber is to look at some of today's tuner cars that run a high degree of negative camber. Adjusting camber can have a dramatic effect on how your car performs when cornering. Most oval track stock car racers run negative camber on the right side of the car and positive camber on the left. The amount of static camber that you should run is a result of testing, tire temps, front suspension geometry, and advice from a chassis builder. Remember that poor camber settings will cause excessive tire wear and heat. Both caster and camber are measured in degrees with a caster camber gauge as we'll be showing you here today. So in preparation for uh, doing the uh, caster and camber, we have turn plates in the front to measure the uh, degrees of uh, turning in the front end. And then we also have turn plate spacers in the back of the car uh, to raise it up so the car is nice and level. The camber is the easiest of the two to check. Make sure the gauge is on. Attach the magnetic adapter to the dust cover on your hub and level the gauge. And your reading will be your camber. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to check and see what the caster is. When you're checking the caster, you always want to go out first. With the digital gauge, you go 15 degrees, and that's where these turn plates really come into handy. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go 15 degrees out. Make sure it's just perfect there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to level the gauge. Make sure the bubble on the gauge is nice and level. And then Chris will push the uh, caster button, put it into caster mode. It'll start blinking when it's in caster mode. And then hit zero. Okay, so from this point, now what we do is we go back to straight ahead and then go 15 degrees in. It's important that you go exactly 15 degrees each way. There you go. Back about a degree. Okay, 15 degrees is where we're at. Now Chris is going to level the gauge with the bubble vial on the top. And then take the reading. 2.0. So what that is is the top ball joint is 2 degrees to the back of the car as compared to the lower ball joint. So that's how to set caster and camber with long acre gauges. You can find more detailed information and other helpful tech tips at www.longacreracing.com.